Nigga, we can't. We have to. We can't just start and then you. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> so just to get out of the way, like I got in a car accident yesterday. Uh, that's why I got like this mark right here. I got this fucking. But I'm straight though. My car is total. But I told him he looks thugged out. But uh, do I look thugged out? Yeah, he's gonna go into it. We got like vlog footage of it, so whenever we put up a next vlog, I'm not gonna say the vlog is coming. Whenever we put together the next vlog, the vlog footage doesn't have any like footage of the accident, though. Yeah, he just gonna explain. It just explains what the hell. Should we put a picture of the accident up there? No, no, fuck it. It'll be in the vlog. Pusha T puts out a response to Drake's uh, Duffy freestyle with the story of Adidon. Adidon? Adidon. I'm gonna tell you, bro. Yesterday was the most stressful day ever with this shit. Everybody calling me, like, trying to tell me lines and shit. Oh, let me tell you about this one part. It's like, bro, no. Yeah, I, I, have can't. To, I have to listen to it on camera. Meanwhile, this nigga got in a car accident. Shit, like, was that shit was crazy. Because this nigga, like, I mean, I'm super grateful that he's, he, like, while he walked out of that shit, no broken bones and like that. But as you can see, he got dinged the fuck up. So, so if I look so, stiff, it's because, like, my neck is, like, mad. And you know what's crazy? Like, dealing with. That shit, and then having people say, Bro, but that record. I you know. know. <laughs> it's like, can you leave me the hey, fuck bro, alone? Bro, I hope you good, but push it. Yeah. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> you want to talk about this? Like the artwork? Yeah, like we're definitely talking about this artwork. Uh, I'm going to tell you, bro. It's not really no explaining. Look. Like, this is the thing, Drake. You're not even all the way black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're doing this blackface. Is, black is that a Jim Crow sweater? It's a Jim Crow. It's the yeah. The Jim Crow is on the is on the uh, on the shirt. That's why I was like, yeah. What the I fuck? I don't know. When did who you the do fuck's this? idea was this photo shoot? And why did you agree to it? Don't you know? Did Jackson you see that video where he was like, "That's that nigger." Did you see that? Yeah. I see it, it was awkward as fuck, bro. <laughs> well, you was this backstory on this? Did you want to give insight on the backstory? Uh, well, Lupe Fiasco was talking about how. It's a, um, like, it's, like, six different pictures. Like, this is the happy one. It's, like, a sad one. It's, like, he did blackface and did it in, like, different emotions and shit. It's supposed to have some type of artistic expression, but... How did you come back from that? I don't know. Like, this is some wild shit. Drake, how do you explain this shit? Push already got a leg up because it's, like, what With the, the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. What is this? <laughs> Easy money. Should it be that loud? Yeah, it's fine. It's about to be a surgical summer. That's good. Yo, the fact that he used fucking this three OJ, bro, crazy. That makes everything five times better. That makes it ten times worse. Cause like, <laughs> this makes everything five times better. The cuatro ciento ochenta y ocho. I know we didn't get no Spanish. Okay. Uh, I think he's getting Rick Ross again. Drug dealer in the side, goose right in the side. Let's have a heart to heart about your pride. Even though you're multi, I see that your soul don't look alive. The M's count different when baby divides the pie. Wait, let's examine why. Your music for the past few years been angry and fun. Hold away, he said. The M's, the M's count different when, when, when baby, baby divides the pie. Like, y'all ain't getting paid. Right. Okay. Let's examine why. Your music for the past few years been angry and full of lies. I started at the home front, I'm on one. Dennis Graham, stay off the ground, bitch, I'm on one. You wish your wedding ring like it's a bad thing. The Dennis Graham, stay off the ground? Yeah. You wish your wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Your father walked away in five, hell of a dad thing. <laughs> you okay. make your wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Right. Your father walked away at five, hell of a dad thing. Hey! That nigga Drake Dad did walk the fuck away. So it's like you you talking about me talking about like the ring. I mean yeah, and that's, it just goes back to how like I mean he said let it ring on you like I'm a I'm a ring. Yeah, let, let it ring. ring. But still, bro, that's a good that's that's that's, that's way that's to that capitalize on that. Yeah. Marriage is something that Sandy never had. Drake, how you a winner, but she keep coming in last place. Is his mom's name Sandy? That, yeah, he talking about his mom, bro. Her marriage is something that Sandy never had, Drake. How you on top, but she always coming in last place. That's crazy. That's hard. That's heavy, bro. That's some. That's fucked you up. You wanna fuck with that nigga, Drake? You probably need to talk about that nigga, mama. Yeah. <laughs> Monkey soup, Dennis, you parade him. A Steve Harvey soup, nigga, man. Confused. Oh my God. A Steve. Think about it. 
A Steve Harvey suit nigga made him. Remember, like, remember when, remember when, uh... His father went on them suits. Exactly, but remember Jay-Z was talking about Steve Harvey suits? Yes. But my stash can't fit in the Steve Harvey suit. But, but, but he was like, Steve Harvey suit nigga made him. Like, did, have you ever seen Dennis Graham's suits, bro? They be it's terrible. Baggy as shit, yeah. Baggy ass. I mean, he's an older, older yeah. but... Damn. Like, we gonna see, bro. Nah, uh, it's not looking too good. He came from moms and dad now. He said, I'm afraid to grow it because your fro wouldn't nap enough. Like, that's hard, bro. That's heavy. That's heavy. Hey, you was confused, never thought that you was black enough. Scared to grow it because your fro wouldn't nap enough. <laughs> that's that's yes, go, no, no, that's like Don DeMarco right yeah, there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If this is a battle rap, like if we're doing a rap beef, if this is a rap battle, okay, you know what I'm saying? That's some, hey, that shit was fire. Since you name drop my fiance, let them know who you chose as your Beyonce. Sophie knows better as your baby mother. Cleaned her up for IG, but the stench is on. Baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. You are hiding a child, let that boy come home. Deadbeat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. God damn! This nigga's smelling tea now, bro. Okay, of course I, I could not dodge the Drake baby oh, wait, 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 daddy wait, wait. thing. But he said, try, you, you tried to hide it from IG, but the stench is on it. Like, like, we know what's up. We can smell it. And, I mean, granted, this is the thing, though. We already knew that somebody said that Drake had a baby. We've got they, that. They, they accused him but of that. But we though. got that. But he addressed it in diplomatic immunity. When mm -hmm. he was like, I got the sauce now, bitches claiming Prego. Remember, yeah. niggas were trying to say we didn't catch that line. Mm -hmm. But like, we did catch the real line. Niggas was like, y'all didn't catch the spaghetti. Prego says the spaghetti sauce. No, nigga, he's talking about bitches claiming that they're pregnant, not bitches claiming that they're a tomato sauce. Even though, of course, the play on words. Even though, of course, it's a play on like Prego is the easiest thing to get, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, like basically, like I'm about to spill the tea, and he was like, "You, you, you are hiding a child. You, you, you are hiding a child. Let that boy, let that. We said, let that boy come home." And he said he was playing border patrol or some shit. But did you see how he said, "You are hiding a child"? Like I am spilling that shit tea. was low key that's, scary, bro. That's like, terrible. Oh bro. shit. Adonis is your son, and he deserves more than an Adidas press run. That's real. Love that baby, respect that girl, forget she's a porn star, let her be your world. That's crazy, Man. bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This nigga Drake, what are you doing, bro? If that's facts. If that's facts? How do you come, you can't come back from that. It, uh, this, you could... But because because it, Drake, it only oh, bro. Like, I feel like we need a little bit more proof. It's definitely crazy though because Drake already addressed it a little bit, and now he's putting the facts. He's putting he's putting face names to faces. Like he's bringing out like Sophie. Like people don't already the, the the chick is already on all the socials. People on her page and shit. That's we know, we haven't seen the kid, but oh, and if we see the kid, this is gonna be easy to tell if it's Drake or not, bro. Yeah, because I feel like that nigga has strong genes. You could probably tell, bro. But that's crazy, bro. That's true. Forget she's a porn star. The delivery. Yeah. Like, the, the reveal is good. You feel me? The reveal is great. Adonis is your son, and he deserves more than an Adidas press run. That's I heard he was going to announce the baby at an Adidas run. And that's why it was called Adidon. Like, that was what an Adidon came from. I seen the spoiler. Uh, damn. Yeah, that's why he said she deserves more than an Adidas. He deserves more than an Adidas press run. He was going to officially announce it, apparently. So now it's like, damn, nigga, you might have just spoiled that nigga's plans for, like, really announcing that he had a child with her. Damn. How dare you put gay in my verses? I'm selfish. I want all of the curses. I'm rebooking the churches. Me versus three hearses. If we all go to hell, it'll be worth it. The only ones I chase are two ghosts. Still giving you classics. That's the only ones I chase are two ghosts. They ain't alive anymore. Ain't alive. Biggie pop. Right. You know what I mean? The only thing that dates me. Over your 40. Hunched over like he 80. Tick, tick, tick. How much time he got that man is? Sick, sick, sick. I got the devil flow, nigga. Sick. Yo, hey. that's kind of fucked up, bro. 
It's something wrong with that nigga. Y'all niggas comment on what it is. What, 40? Something's wrong with him, bro. That's what they say about his multiple sclerosis. sclerosis. I feel yeah. like I seen that on like a commercial somewhere. If you have multiple sclerosis. I need to hear what he said. Hold on. I can't even pronounce the shit. Multiple sclerosis. Say it again. Multiple sclerosis. No, say it just fast. Multiple sclerosis. You see? That's one of those retarded ass words. No, you just retarded. <laughs> Oreo <laughs> 40 hunched over like he ate. Tick, tick, tick. How much time he got that man is? Six, six, six. I got the devil flow, nigga. Six, six, six. Surgical summer with it. She had that ad lib in there and everything. That's crazy, yeah, that bro. Era, but that's kind of. That is. That's when you. That's what you call hitting love. That's hitting bro, love. But that's like a. Cause you know why? That when, once you start to come at the, the fucking. You're going at the glue that keeps everybody together, bro. Which is what? Which is Because now 40's like, nigga, you need to come at this nigga because now he's talking about me. You feel me? When B starts to expand to your family and friends, it's starting yeah, to get bro. You're talking about his mom, dad, and his producer, bro. It's like, Drake, what did you get Think us about into? what he said, though. He said, tick, tick, tick. How much time that nigga got left? He's sick, sick, sick. I'm on that devil flow something. Sick, sick. And you hit a... Six, but, six, six. Now, six, six, six. The, the devil. devil. Right. But six, like, Drake always talk about the six side. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he puts the fucking six ad lib that Drake yeah, used bro. in it. That's crazy, bro. It's very, very, it's, bro. That's this, amazing. This is, this is what you call a really good diss song, bro. All right, hold on. I'm going back a little bit again. How much time he got that man is? Six, six, six. I got the devil flow, nigga. Six, six, six. Surgical summer with it. Six, six, six. And you don't really want it with him. You can expect if you watch, well, you can. But if you watched the Breakfast Club interview with Pusha T, when he was like, "I don't care," I mean, hey, that was cute. What he did was cool. It was like you must really think Drake won't come at you, nigga. Then Drake came up. Everybody was like, "Yo, he got pushed up out of here." And it's like it's almost like he wanted this shit to happen so that he could do this shit. Now, this is the thing. There's a lot of people on Twitter, so poll gonna pop up right here, and the poll is gonna say. Who do you think is winning so far? Drake or Pusha T? There's a lot of people that said, ah, Pusha T's this was too short. Drake still had way more in his. And it's like, even though this is hot, like this thing, all, for all my niggas that watch battle rap that understand how rounds are and how, how rounds moves, go. When you go back and watch it on tape, sometimes the shit is different. Go and watch Calico versus Loaded Lux, round one, right? So Calico's first round was heavy handed, bro. Just a bunch of heavy handed shit. Loaded Lux's beginning of his first round was mad lyrical, bro. What's another battle rap where. We, we, well, let me just say this. Well, that's perfect. Aside though. from that, though, I think Drake's diss was way more lyrical. But I feel like Push's diss was, was more, more heavy handed, bro. Way more personal. Way more personal. He talked about his mom, his dad. He talked about 40, maybe might die soon. For him to say. 40 hunched over like he 80, tick, 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 how much time he got, that's fucked up. Bro. That's crazy. That's some low hand, low ball shit, bro. To the point where it's like, now, you done made me fucking mad. <laughs> Yo, Drake about to have a baby, bro, I'm telling you. This is my thing, though, Drake. You need not take this lightly because, yeah, did you maybe have a, did you have a good first song? Yeah. But this is not a, this can't be the end of it. We didn't ask for back to back. We just got that. But now, we need a back-to-back -back for you to survive this. Because right now, you're looking weak out here. It's too much shit. Don't sleep on Drake, bro. I'm not sleeping on I know Drake can definitely... It's, it's Drake, Drake. But I'm saying, you need, nigga, you need to respond. It's like this. Like, you had a great first round, and then this nigga first round was just as heavy, but he went second, so this nigga has the, the clout right now. And then this is You have thing. to come with it. Drake said in his response in back-to-back, -back, I waited four days, nigga, where y'all at? My nigga, how long you gonna make us wait for the response for this? Cause now we saying Drake, it's been about a day. And don't get, and, and, and if you think pushing that working on his back to back, so he can say I waited three days. Right, it's if coming. You think bro. he's not waiting to say but that the thing, shit. What niggas have not addressed is that Joe Button actually washed Drake three times. Drake put, I mean Drake put out that one diss, right? And then Joe Button put out Making a Murderer right when Making a Murderer came out, and that shit was crazy. Joe Button did too much, bro. But Drake, I mean, Joe Button definitely went the fuck in, but Drake, but Drake didn't enough attention. Drake never paid attention. Drake didn't make a whole song dissing Joe Button. But this, he know, made a exactly. song that dissed somebody, so but it was dissing everybody. He was safe. 
from the Joe shit because he never responded. But you already addressed Pusha T in a track, nigga. Now you in this shit for real. So you have to say something. Now you have to. But let's not let's not forget, Pusha did, at least this year, Pusha did hit first. You don't even write your songs. Yeah. Then he goes at Push. Then Push responded, responds. Does Drake really have to respond? Yeah. I'm going to say yeah on the grounds of what this nigga said. If you don't respond, then you end up like Nicki. What happened with Nicki? Oh, like with Nicki and Sheetha. Nicki put out weak ass no frauds after Sheetha came weak out. Weak ass no frauds, no frauds was a, was a hit. But I, I mean, in the terms of like a diss. Like you, you, I don't want Drake to put out a hit. You need to come out with another diss record, nigga. We need more diplomatic community Drake. We need another we diss record. Yeah. We not a hit. Because this is the thing. Back to back was nominated for a Grammy. A Grammy. And it's like, we don't need another one of those though. We need like we back to back being nominated for a Grammy to me is ridiculous, but whatever. That just I, I feel mean, like that's just the Grammys going with the hype of the world, but whatever. I mean, but yeah, I do not think that's a Grammy. Either way, song. If you're called Spade to Spade. It's, it's a Grammy. Grammy it's a Grammy nominated song. song. I don't want Drake to try to go the hit route and try to put out a hit because yeah. I feel like that's what Nicki did. You need uh, that's my thing. Not only do you need to respond, but you need to recover. You can't respond emotionally. You can't get on there saying shit like "I'll fuck you up." Anything like. I'll fuck you up means you got real, you got too emotional. Cause now you're right. talking about hitting them. You're not rapping. You you rapping off anger and not, you know what I'm saying? You're not rapping with your with your mental. You rapping right. with your emotions. So his response is really important, bro. If he does, hey, comment on whether you think Drake should respond or not. I, th I think everybody's gonna yeah, yeah everybody does. He does. He does everybody's thoughts. Hey. Understand that Drake's diss was lyrically better. But Push's diss was way more heavy handed and hurts harder than what. Yeah. So, so the people Drake that said. saying that Push killed Drake, I understand it now. I understand it because he made an it's, attempt to put this nigga in like the fucking ground. No, yeah. It was. I, he's, you're trying to fuck up my, my bag. Yeah. You feel me? Make sure you subscribe if you uh, haven't already subscribed. What, I always do that? Yeah. Hey, this nigga got in a car crash yesterday and we still shot a video. I'm good, man. This nigga's all bruised up. Most niggas go in holes. I'm gonna tell you right now, if my face get jacked up, or if I cut my beard too low, y'all not seeing me tell that shit. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Funny as shit. Hey, so for the dedication, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you. We'll probably. Do we need to say anything about the witch is better? No. Just finish the video, my nigga. You get so close to finishing, then you're like, oh, dang. Finish it! Like. Comment, share, subscribe. Till next time, who not?